best for Warren Middle School events week to week. I'm Coulter. And I'm Jory. It's crazy to think that it's already November. I mean, time is just flying. Some stores already have Christmas music. I know it's crazy. Speaking of music, let's do a recap on our musical departments here at WMS. They had two powerful performances, starting with the choir concert and then with their band concert. Let's take a closer look at some footage from the choir concert. joining you live today with Nyan and Emily from the WMS Choir. So, what was your favorite song from this last concert? Uh, my favorite one was probably One Call Away. Um, I don't agree with you. My favorite was Happiness. <laughs> so, Naya, how do you prepare for a solo? Uh, just kind of focus on the words rather than the audience because like a lot of people are looking at you, just keep focused on the words. So, in your opinion, what is the best part about choir? I like the life lessons you learn in the choir because a lot of discussion comes up about what's happening in the world and different parts of life that you have to deal with and how it relates to singing and making good with it. This is Charlie John Sportsman with your broadcast over. So now I'm with Ashlyn. What instrument do you play in band? I play the flute. And what songs are you guys playing right now? We're playing the Christmas songs All I Want for Christmas is You, Hark the Herald Trumpet Swing, and Bob's, Bobsled Run. Uh, and how did you guys' last concert go? We did pretty good. Well, thank you, Ashlyn. Now I'm with John, and the first question is what instrument do you play? I play the baritone saxophone. And what's your favorite song you've ever played? Crunch Time. And do you mind playing a little bit of Crunch Time for us? Oh, I would. <laughs> performances and amazing talents. Be sure to book your calendar for their December Christmas performances. What will that will be here before you know it. We are thankful for Mr. Rose and Mr. and Mrs. Wright for what they do, are doing here. Let's talk about some more amazing teachers. I mean, Mrs. Richardson, the eighth grade science teacher, she had an amazing project with her kids. That's right. She did superhero periodic table elements. Let's talk more with her and some of her students that contributed. Um, can you explain what you had the students do? The students were asked to create an element or a, su a superhero or a supervillain based on an element from the periodic table. Okay. Um, what did you do your project on? Uh, I did my project on a superhero made of cobalt. No, a supervillain. Okay, cool. I did mine on zinc. Um, she was a superhero for zinc. <laughs> Speaking of heroes, 
uh, this past Halloween, Mr. Montgomery had one of the best costumes ever. He dressed up as Mario Kart. Check this out. Awesome, Mr. Montgomery is not only a fun teacher, but he is also helping with the wrestling program. Which, speaking of wrestling, due to the snowy weather, they were not able to compete Saturday in Buffalo. However, they, complete, they competed on Thursday in Thermop and are heading to Grable tomorrow. Moving on to our basketball program, the 7th graders had a really good game against Tensley and our 8th graders had a really good game against Cali, only losing by a few points. to get back on next week's weather forecast. This is windy weather here for the weather for next week. Sunday should be 37 degrees with a low of 18. Monday should be a high of 42 degrees and a low of 22. Tuesday should be partly cloudy with a high of 42 and a low of 25. Wednesday should be 44 with a low of 21. And we like to give a shout out to Wyoming Western Weather for giving us this wonderful green screen background. Back to you. Thank you, Catherine Windy Weather. Our fall weather has certainly changed into a winter wonderland. Now let's connect with Chef Charlie Gustav with our menu for next week. Charlie Gustav here with the update from our amazing chefs here at WMS. On Monday, we will have a hot dog on a bun. On Tuesday, we will have ribby on a bun. On Wednesday, we will have ham Swiss croissant. And make sure to bring your appetite on Thursday so we'll be having Thanksgiving dinner. And on Friday, we'll have a chicken patty on a bun. Back to you guys. In regard to vet Veterans Day this weekend, eighth graders decided to surprise their shop teacher, Mr. Barron, who's not only an incredible teacher, but also served our country. He served a tour in Iraq, serving along with his son. Let's see our support to Mr. Barron. <laughs> On behalf of the 8th graders, I'd like to thank you for your service and for our country and to all the veterans out there, for thank you for your service. And his leadership in this school. We would also like to take the time to say a huge thank you to all the vets out there who have sacrificed so much for all of us. We appreciate your service. Until next week, it's been a pleasure. This is Jordan Coulter, educating brave minds one day at a time. <laughs>